There's an owner of a guitar company called Bob Taylor. Bob Taylor makes Taylor guitars. Now this is not a Taylor guitar, I can't actually afford one. But Bob Taylor said this really interesting quote and he said about making guitars, that you want guitars to be almost falling apart, that they need to have just enough structure so that the air can flow around them and the sound can come out. And I think that guitars are a bit like churches, that uh, the most important thing in any church is its sound. What the, the sound that is in your church is unique, it is special, it's beautiful. But uh, every guitar and every church needs a structure. And if you have too little structure, your guitar will fall apart. And it's the same with your church. If there's no structure, you're gonna really struggle to have any traction, to move things forward. You're gonna not actually make a clear and beautiful sound. But if you have too much structure, then you restrict the sound. The guitar doesn't make a tuneful noise. And it's the same with a church as well. You have too much structure, the, uh, you stifle the life out of your church, the sound gets inhibited. So when you're looking to add structure in your church, the aim is to have as little structure as possible. And it's more important to think about the sound than it is the structure. Get the sound right and then the structure follows afterwards. And only put enough structure in to make a beautiful sound. And that's how you should think about structure in your church. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm from Thinking Church. Thinking Church exists to help your church thrive by helping you think through key strategic items in your church life. If you like this video, then why not hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and uh, drop us a comment because we'd love to interact with you as well. We'll be back with another video very soon. Bye-bye.